Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks, and today we're going to be talking about the Barricade Extreme HD rear bumper with LED fog lights fitting all 06 to 14 F-150s. Now this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking for a heavy-duty off-road rear bumper that comes with some rear-facing lights at a budget-friendly price. So diving into the Extreme HD, what is this thing made out of? Well, steel plate, but three millimeter thick steel plate at that. It's finished in a two-stage black powder coating, which is not just there to add to the looks, albeit if you were going for the blackout look, this is gonna be a perfect match, but it's also going to serve as a layer of protection against the elements. Now, the main draw to this kit in particular is gonna be the two included five watt Cree LED light cubes. They're gonna throw a lot of light out of the rear of your truck at a 6,000K color temperature. That's gonna be a bright white, leaning very, very slightly toward the blue side. They're completely plug and play. This kit even includes a wiring harness with a switch. They're IP67 waterproof, meaning they can withstand up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. And that's more abuse than they should ever see on the rear of your F-150. This bumper has some other features going for it as well. A lot of them actually transfer over from the factory rear bumper, and we're gonna get the two side by side in just a second here so you can really see the difference between the two. But you might recognize those license plate lights, you might recognize the spare tire lock as well as the trailer plug down there and the receiver itself. All that stuff is gonna transfer over from your factory rear bumper, and this bumper even includes spots for reverse proximity sensors. If your truck is optioned, you can transfer those right over if not, you can fill it with these rubber plugs which do come in the kit. Now, one thing that is not on the factory rear bumper, these steps into the bed, you do have some non-slip texture on there to make sure you get some good footing. That is a nice little feature just to make things a little bit easier on you if you do plan on working in the bed of your truck. Now, pricing for this whole kit is gonna drop in right around the $700 mark. And that is really budget friendly, especially when considering that this comes with its own LED cube lights. You can get this without if you are looking to save around 150 bucks. And that is the most budget friendly rear bumper we have for this generation F-150 on our website. And this one right here, this is gonna be the most budget friendly rear bumper that includes any lighting at all. So definitely getting your money's worth with the Extreme HD. Install for this is gonna be really, really easy. No modification required. This is a straight bolt-on using factory hardware. I'm gonna give it an easy two out of three wrenches just because it is a little bit of heavy and there is some plug and play wiring involved. At most, this should take you about two, three hours to get hooked up to your truck. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and now it's done. Tools required for this install are going to include an impact or ratchet, 21 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, this Allen key, which does come included in the kit, and a 13 millimeter wrench. So this is gonna be really simple to get the factory stuff out of here. There are three 21 millimeter nuts on either side. You just remove those, and this whole assembly just falls right off. You can see our truck does have a receiver. We're gonna transfer that over to our new bumper once we're on the table. But before we touch any of the hardware, we do need to take care of some of the electronics. We're gonna unplug our license plate lights and this trailer plug right here. And then we can move on and get this bumper off our truck. We're gonna start with the trailer plug and to remove that, there's a release pin up on top. You just push that down and pull right out. Then we're gonna remove our plate lights and to get those out of the way, we're just gonna grab the housing, turn counterclockwise and that should pop right out. Same thing goes for the light on the other side as well. With all of the electronics out of the way, we can now work on our hardware. Now, as you're loosening these up, you can see the studs are at the top of the slot here. So just be ready. This might shift on you a little bit as you're loosening these up, but 21 millimeter socket, I have it on the air ratchet here. We're just gonna get these out of the way on both sides and remove the bumper. I'm just gonna leave that on finger tight and while I'm here, I'll as well put that one on as well. You can see the bumper did shift a little bit, but uh, we had these nuts on here, so no real safety concern. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side.
Now I'm just going to reach under, unthread those nuts the rest of the way, and then we can pull the bumper off. So now we can put our bumper on the table. We're going to scavenge a lot of stuff off this. The trailer plug, the license plate lights, the spare tire lock, and this receiver here, as well as some bolt plates that actually hold the bumper onto the truck. We're going to start with the license plate lights. They just pop out. Next, we're going to do the spare tire lock. And to remove that, just put the key in, give it a twist and that will pop right out. We're gonna put that aside as well. Now we're gonna remove our receiver from the actual plastic portion of the bumper. And to do that, there are six 10 millimeter nuts right there. There's three on this side as well. We're gonna loosen all those up and pull these apart. Now we can pull this hitch bar right out of our bumper. We're gonna put our receiver aside for now. We're just gonna build up our new barricade bumper next. We're gonna start with the spare lock and that is just gonna go right back in place on our new bumper, like so. Now we can move on to our plate lights which are also just gonna pop right in. Now, what we're gonna handle next is right here. Now, these are plugs for the reverse proximity sensors. Our truck is an option, so we're just gonna throw those in the holes. If you do have those, the process is pretty much gonna be the same exact thing. Take them out of your factory bumper, put them in the holes on this one, and you'll be all set. Those will be up and running, no problem. Now, like I said, we don't have that, so we're just gonna pop in these plugs to the four holes. Before we drop our fog lights in, we are gonna have to get these mounting brackets installed. Now that is pretty easy. If I hold it up like this, you can see one side has a notch cut out of it. You want that to face toward the front of the light. So we're just gonna grab that and orient it properly and slide it in between the fins. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that straight back and the idea there is it's gonna provide a little bit of a slide. You can drop a nut in and in theory, that fin is cut out to hold that nut still. So with that nut being held still, we could come in from the side with the bolt and thread the two together. Now once you have the thread started, you could use the Allen key included in the kit to snug that up. We're gonna do that for the other side of the mounting bracket and then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other light as well. So with the hardware in place, we can put our mounting bracket where it needs to be, and that can go off to the side. For now, we're gonna do the same thing for this light as well. And again, you just wanna make sure that notch is toward the front of the light. That's gonna give you the range of motion you need.
Then we could drop the nut down the fin and get the hardware started through the side of the light. And same thing goes for the other side too. So now we're going to install the lights to our bumper. And in order to do that, we're gonna take the 13 millimeter bolt that comes included in the kit. We're just gonna put that up through the bracket we just installed like that. And that bracket has some slots cut out of that to hold the bolt head still while we thread on the nut. So I'm just gonna reposition here. And then I'm gonna come in through the front of our bumper like so. And then on the top of that bolt, I'm just going to install our lock washer. And then we can tighten that down with a 13 millimeter nut. Now, one thing I probably should have done before we drop this in is push through the cable. You can see that one hole at the top does have a little cutout for the cable to push through. So now we can just jump back to the light. And we're going to tighten that down with a 13 millimeter wrench. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side, but uh, we're gonna push through the plug first this time. And while we're over here, I guess this is as good a time as any to touch on, you have three positions to mount this in. Uh, we're gonna go with the middle, that seems to make the most sense. Um, having it centered up is just gonna look the most right as well. While we're still on the table, I figured now would be the easiest time to show you how this is going to mount up to our truck. And it's gonna be really, really simple. These three holes right here, they're gonna be filled from the back with the factory bolt plates, just like so. And then you could line that up with the truck and tighten it down with the 21 millimeter nuts. If you do wanna keep your receiver, we're just gonna put that down right on top. We will be keeping that today, but it's up to you whether or not you want to. So now we're just about ready to install our bumper to our F-150, but before we do, I figured now would be the perfect time to stop down and point out some key differences between our brand new barricade and that factory rear bumper. Now, the first thing we're gonna touch on here is gonna be the most obvious, and that is gonna be the upgrade in terms of looks. We're ditching that factory plastic and body color in exchange for some heavy duty steel plate and black powder coating. This thing looks aggressive, it looks very off-roader-esque, and it's definitely going to improve the rear look of your F-150. It's gonna match perfectly with any blackout look if that's what you're going for. Now that's not gonna be the only key upgrade between our old factory rear bumper and our brand new barricade. Obviously, the looks are great, but the build quality is gonna be improving as well. Again, plastic over here, heavy duty steel plate over here with that black powder coating, which is gonna serve 
as some corrosion resistance. On top of that, that bumper was really only held on with six 10 millimeter bolts. With this one, we're upping that to the factory bolt plates with the six 21 millimeter nuts and some heavy duty steel. So that is going to hold on better. It's going to stand up to any abuse better and look better in the process of doing all of that. The barricade also comes with some brand new features as well as some old ones. We transferred over all that stuff. Obviously we have two pre-drilled holes here for a plate, spare tire lock is retained, license plate lights are retained, parking sensors are also going to transfer right over. We're also gaining those plug and play LED lights, which is not even a feature on that factory rear bumper to begin with, so an added benefit there. And also those steps on the side of the bumper, that's a really nice touch. That's something that Chevy does on their Silverados. And to see that on the Ford, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be. It's definitely a great little piece to make climbing in and out of the bed a little bit easier. That's pretty much gonna be it as far as differences go between these two. Some really good upgrades with this barricade bumper. Now all we have to do is install it. We already have everything lined up, so we're just gonna line it up with the frame, tighten it down with the six 21 millimeter nuts, plug back in our electronics, and we'll be all set. So now we're just gonna push up and align this bumper and take the 21 millimeter socket. And we're gonna lock that in place and tighten down the rest. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And then we can plug back in our trailer plug, as well as our license plate lights. And we're just gonna line that up and give it a clockwise twist to lock it in for both sides. Next up, we're gonna have to do some wiring, and this kit includes a nice plug and play harness for you here. This has two IP67 waterproof connectors. They're gonna go to our lights. Then we also have to mount up a relay. We have to get a switch into the cab of our truck, but what we're gonna start with is applying the contacts to the terminals on our battery. Obviously, black to black, red to red. We're gonna pop off a 10 millimeter nut on each terminal, install our contacts, and reinstall. Next, we're gonna do our relay. You can see that right here. Now, this might look like a ground, but it's just a mounting tab. You can mount this anywhere you want. We're gonna put it under ground anyway. Uh, we're gonna go for this guy right here, eight millimeter bolt holding that on. So we're just gonna loosen it up, install, and tighten it back down. gonna make sure that's nice and flush with this edge here. Uh, I don't want that to impact anything when the hood struts. And I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and tucked away. With everything on this harness, you wanna make sure you're not close to any hot or moving parts. While we're over here, we're gonna run our connectors underneath of the truck. Again, make sure these are away from any hot or moving parts. 
After that, we need to take care of our switch. The best place I've found is this rubber grommet right here. I'm just gonna pull that out. And then we can take our switch, push that through. Now that's into the cabin. We're just gonna pull the slack over on the other side and then reinstall that grommet from the other side as well. This guy does have some adhesive on the back, so we're just gonna peel that away. And you can stick this wherever you want for now. To finish up our fog lights, obviously you can route these wires whichever way you want. They just need to meet up with the plug and play connector at the back. They should click into place. You're good to go at that point. The kit does even include some zip ties for you to wire manage this whole thing. Make sure not to forget the other side as well. Guys, that is going to do it for me. It's also going to do it for the Barricade Extreme HD rear bumper with LED fog lights fitting all 06 to 14 F-150s. Subscribe for more like this one. I'm Joe. Keep it right here at American Trucks for all things F-150.